hey youtube hey to my tree hey to my youtube channel hey to my subscribers hey to my cot academy fam hey to you everybody hope you guys are having a wonderful trading week and i hope you had a wonderful trading week and i hope you're having a great weekend and i pray that you're using this weekend by all means necessary to prepare yourselves and to use it so you can be ready for the next trading week well this is your boy Alan king cot and we back with another video so this video will be a quick um, um, um weekly outlook for the coming week of august the 26th of august up and until the 30th of august looking for possible direction on five pays right so without further ado hope you guys like subscribe share the video comment on the video sign up with the broker that we highly recommend by clicking the link down below Sign up with the broker by clicking the link down below. If you want to be part of the COT Academy fam, you can DM, you can call, or you can WhatsApp, or you can just comment down below. We left our number and we left our link. So you can choose which services do you want to work with and let the COT Academy assist you with from the part of that fair over two. Let us share this wonderful chance and let us be about our way. So Let's pay for the NASDAQ. So you can clearly see that obviously structure for an S price still given a size of price being bullish. So when you zoom in the charts, you guys remember that this was our first support falling formation. This was our second, and this was our third, and this was when it turned into resistance, and this was our fourth, and this is our fifth. So for the coming week, we say wait for confirmation because we're not sure for now what we might happen. Might you get a violation of our highs to continue moving bullish? Might you get a reaction of our support? Or might we get a break below that zone to be bearish? We just don't know for now. But we said wait for confirmation so we can understand what might happen. Are we gonna violate our high? Are we gonna react on our support? Or are we gonna violate our support? That's all that we're waiting for for the coming week one less deck so moving to the second p which is gold so if in structure on gold you guys can clearly see that price has also given us bullish confirmations so when you also zoom in the charts you remember that this was our all-time high that price was formed so from price paint in this all-time high we had this break and we have this retest and are now having a wood a possible confirmation for continuation to the upside but all that we're now waiting for for the coming week is to just get price breaking up our highs right if we can get a break and retest of our highs looking for new formations of new highs or new printing out of new highs or if price can react on this very same zone or if we can get a violation same as the NAS, this price gonna give us a what a breakup of our highs, looking for new highs, or are we gonna get a reaction of our intraday zone to be bullish, or are we gonna violation, are we gonna get a violation of that zone to be bearish? That's all that we're gonna be waiting for for the coming week. That's how we said wait for confirmation. Without further ado, we hop onto the third pay, which is USD CAD. So USD CAD, which is don't say much, but you can tell the price is violating our wood, price is violating our zones, right? We had the first violation and we had the second violation. So obviously with that being said, you can tell that from price violating from the first time we had a retest and a continuation to that downside. So with price having a violation again on a very different zone, are we gonna get a retest right there and signs of a photo break up up to continue moving to the downside? Oh, well, price break about this racing zone to be bullish, we just don't know, right? So are we gonna get a resist above to be bullish or are we gonna get what a break and resist above our zone to be bullish or are we gonna get a reaction of our zone below to be bearish? We just don't know for now. That's why we said we also wait for confirmation but that we will do we hope to our fourth pay which is Tesla. So Tesla so Tesla is that thing that we can say because we just said wait we don't have a trade idea simply based on how price is moving right we can clearly see price action that's not the way it has to be so with that better we do we hop onto the fifth day which is bitcoin so same thing with bitcoin we did indicate that we don't have a trade idea because of how price action is that i would do there's nothing that i can share 
and there's nothing that I want to break down because I don't see what might be happening. And if I can see what might happen, then that's when I don't want to share possible trading outlooks or possible direction with directions with you guys. Not to complicate or not to make things hard for you guys, but simply keeping it simple, sweet, and legit with you guys do you guys get that so this will be what we're looking for for the coming week and what we'll be willing to put our money to work on you guys understand that this is no financial advice use what you understand work on what you understand and build from what you understand but also be mindful that from what you're looking at some traders producing a different perspective you can see what we're looking at but what's important is what you come up with or what you are going to use at the end of the day are you going to use what you see are you going to use what works for you but at that point will do guys i hope you have a wonderful training week i'm prepared to see you guys win i'm ready to see you guys win i'm ready to win so if i am you guys are also are but that's what I will do. Hope you stay blessed by the best. And I might catch you guys on the next video.